All right, so we're back here at the temple. Uh, hopefully you watched the previous video explaining all of these mobs. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and try to get them dead. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, pacify this right elemental. Um, now to give us seven minutes to work, essentially. Um, put these on the wrong spots. Uh, that'll give us seven minutes to basically work uh, without him getting involved in the situation, which is more than enough time, uh, most of the time, to get these four, these four siren dead. And we really want to kill the siren and then kill him separately because the spell lineup that we're going to use um, for fighting them is is very different. Uh, we're going to be using, you know, Theft of Thought and Dispel Magic when we're fighting the Sirens. Uh, but we're going to be using Junk Buffs and Slows and Cripple and other things when we're fighting the Elemental. So I like to just kind of deal with them in two separate packs. And then also it gets the timers spread out. So, uh, you know, for whatever reason you have to cap out or gate out or die, you have a bit of time. Oh. All right, so that's a crit column failure. We use this as a learning situation. Uh, if you stand where I indicated here and you do have a crit column failure like that, you have just enough time to go ahead and get off a gate and then come back and try again. So while I'm here, I'll take this also as a quick opportunity to demonstrate my technique for getting back to the temple if you're a KOS enchanter, uh, like I am. So different people have different techniques. Um, but I prefer this one. You're going to take a couple hits, but it seems to be the cleanest. Uh, it used to be a lot easier to get to temple, uh, but then one of the patches came out changing the pathing. And now there is a um, Bolthar or a Molkor, depending on the pop. Uh, rotating in the water heading toward temple and so it's uh, it's a lot more dangerous now but this technique that I use uh, seems to work the majority of the time uh, so we'll just go ahead and show you what I like to do I like to zone in invis because sometimes people are training the zone and you're gonna have to invis past those first guys anyway so might as well just do it outside All right, so that's the, you saw him there, that's the Bolthar I was referencing. That's actually supposed to be uh, up here on this bridge. He's supposed to path across this bridge into this breezeway up here that's up near the top of Castle. Uh, but since the patch, he's just completely in the wrong spot um, and pathing back and forth here. Well, the troublesome part about him is he doesn't see invisible, but um, unlike the seahorses and the maidens, he will come out of the water. So uh, if he sees you, he's going to chase you, uh, and you're going to have to zone out. So what I like to do is I just come up to this corner here and wait for him. He kind of blips in and out a lot. Wait for this Bolthar to be kind of over here on the left and just hit this seahorse with a tash. You can just hop, you know, hit him with the tash and then hop out of the water. Um, because again, hopping out of the water will reset them and then just hit them with a pacify. The pacifies will stick pretty effectively on the seahorses if you tash them ahead of time. Uh, and sometimes it'll still take five, six casts or whatever, but um, it'll get it pacified. Uh, make sure once you do that, though, that you invis. I see a lot of people like see me do this and then they come and do it. And so they'll pacify this guy and they'll be like, all right, cool, good to go. And they'll start running by, but they don't cast invis. And then these guys will absolutely ruin your day so just make sure you pacify and then reinviz and then just come over here so on the other side of this wall there's two seahorses and then there's a pathing seahorse that comes around the front of castle and so i just stand right here wait for that bullthar to kind of get over here and just hop in the water the seahorse is going to hit you a couple times but you have bedlam and then pop out right here easy squeezy and you want to make sure you don't pop out over like right when you come out because this guy is here and he will aggro you and then also ruin your day 
So you just want to come down in the water, come over to here, and then pop out. No big deal. And when you come over here, I like to just rapture this right seahorse. It's just safest. I know it's a lot of mana. You can also tash it and pull it out and then hop on the top of the water. But I just prefer to just rapture it. It's um, just the safest way. I just like to take out any chance involved in any of the equations. Um, and then you're here. Make sure you don't accidentally hop, you know, stay in the water, because once that rapture fades, if you're in the water, you know, it will aggro on you if it didn't blur. Okay, cool. Well, that was a quick tutorial in uh, getting a crit calm failure, uh, why we calm up there on the ledge, and uh, go ahead and try this again.